Drake, you with this blackface bullshit? Nigga, let me tell you something. You disrespected a whole motherfucking culture that rolled with your motherfucking zebra ass. Alright? We know your mama is straight motherfucking white. Alright? We understood your pops was black. But for you to motherfucking put on blackface and disrespect the whole motherfucking culture, nigga, and think that's okay, you and this motherfucking English ass nigga, that motherfucker won't try and act like he from South Dakota or whatever the fuck down here in ATL. Fuck both of y'all, nigga. Okay? What's good, folk? It's the boy Suge and Platinum Stacks. We back at it, bringing y'all some more entertainment news you can use. Make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get all the new videos on ASAP. The OGs are in the ranks, people. Nas and all the OGs from the old school hip hop era are joining rank and going at 21 Savage and even Drake caught a strike. The OG MC Shan went on his Instagram and gave 21 Savage and Drake a buck 50, y'all. But I'm thinking Drake is probably gonna play this real player type, you know, so he probably gonna send 21 Savage over there to Nas with, you know, with some bottles or something, man. I'm hoping you know that's how they gonna play it. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this situation in the comments, people. Are the OGs really feeling some type because the young boys is getting to a dollar? They getting to the bag right now. Or are the young G's just out here disrespecting the OG's? Y'all let me know in the comments section, folks. I'll see you when I look at you. One time for your mind, two time for your soul. It's your Uncle Shizzle with a whistle, right? Let me tell you something. You little young niggas, academic, 21 savage. Let me tell you something. Ain't no motherfucking... Once you say that shit, my nigga, ain't no taking it back. Ain't no apologizing, motherfucker. That's like a bullet. When you let that bullet fly, right? You can't bring that shit back. Bang and hit a nigga in the chest, lay him out. It's, nigga, oh, nigga, you got to serve that shit. You shouldn't have. If I did not mean it, I wouldn't have said it. I'm going to give the man behind the wheel some credit. And some of y'all don't know, that's Molly Scratch. I made that shit fucking... Nigga, if I did not mean it, I wouldn't have said it. So anything that come out your mouth, my nigga, mean that shit. Stand on that shit. Y'all niggas too busy motherfuckers saying shit out your mouth and saying, Ooh, I'm sorry the next day, nigga. Fuck you with that pussy shit, nigga. Stand on that shit you say. And when you see the nigga that you said it about, stand on that shit too. Cause all that my, oh, I'm sorry. Nigga, ain't no apologizing. Like I said, nigga, once you let that bullet come out that motherfucking gun, that shit is out of there. You can't reverse it, my nigga. So sometimes words are like bullets, motherfucker. You can't take that shit back. Live with that shit, nigga. Deal with whatever the fuck you gotta deal with. And stop talking about niggas that motherfucking overshadow you. You can't talk down on niggas you got to look up to see. Drake, you with this blackface bullshit? Nigga, let me tell you something. You disrespected a whole motherfucking culture that rolled with your motherfucking zebra ass. Alright? We know your mama is straight motherfucking white. Alright, we understood your pops was black, but for you to motherfucking put on blackface and disrespect the whole motherfucking culture, nigga, and think that's okay, you and this motherfucking English ass nigga, that motherfucker won't try and act like he from South Dakota or whatever the fuck down here in ATL, fuck both of y'all nigga, okay? On some simple shit, him for fucking disrespecting his elders, you should never disrespect Nas, ever. Alright? And for you, you black face wearing ass motherfucker. All the niggas that bought you all these planes and all this shit that you got going on. I hope y'all feel like a fucking idiot. Because you follow the wrong ass motherfuckers and they turn around and smack you in your motherfucking face. And put on blackface. Fuck you, Drake. Fuck you, 21. And academic. 
And all you other niggas that don't want to fucking respect this culture, how the fuck it go? Fuck you, my nigga. And on the other hand, fuck you two over here. It might sound like I'm angry, but I'm not. All I'm saying is fuck you with emphasis. Okay? Now I'm going to drink my whistle, smoke my weed, and not give a fuck about none of you fuck-ass niggas that be doing that bullshit out here. Putting on black fader. Like, mammy! Nigga, that's what you sounded like on 99% of your fucking records where you singing some other niggas' lyrics. Mammy! Just to show y'all niggas how I do and stand up for my motherfucking niggas. If any of you little niggas ever want to put the motherfucking king's name in your mouth, do not mention Nazia Jones, motherfucker. Nigga, that goes against all the rules and violations that you never put the king's name in your motherfucking mouth. Okay? Because the only thing that's going to get you is took into the motherfucking guillotine and we going to take your motherfucking head off. Metaphorically. Because... Instagram will ban me if they think I'm threatening your little ass, and I'm not threatening you. All I'm saying is, nigga, you keep the fucking king's name out your motherfucking mouth, nigga. Understand the hierarchy and how this shit work, nigga. You low man on the motherfucking totem pole, so what you getting now? This nigga rain came, this nigga been raining for fucking how many motherfucking years, nigga? Don't never put the king name in your mouth, nigga. It's all I'm saying, and I stand up for my folk, my nigga. That's all. What up? Sometimes you have to humble yourself down to greatness. You have to humble yourself down and accept your position. People will say, well, how come you giving Nas all that prop, Shane? You the first one from the bridge. Well, check this out. Hip hop killed me on the battlefield, nigga. Because I was that nigga and my mouth was fucked up, but hip hop killed me on the battlefield. Motherfucking Nas came along and he found Shan Sword. That nigga picked up my sword, that nigga drove forward and he forged forward. And look at what the bridge is now. Chris could talk about oh the bridges over all he wants, but yet that's a facade when you look at the reality of it. Motherfucking Nas, Mob Deep, and whoever else fucking made something out of the bridge when they said it was falling. Made that shit motherfucking unsurpassable. So for anybody that sits there and says, well Sharon, how can you give Nas all of this credit? Because I'm a humble motherfucker. I know where my motherfucking ending was and where his beginning began. My ending was when hip hop killed me on the field. Nas came and took that motherfucking sword and he forged forward. Look at the bridge now. Y'all can't deny it. It's your man Shizzle. One time for your mind, two time for your soul. Like I say, to each and every one of us, you have to know when to humble yourself. That's when you're going to feel great about yourself, when you humble yourself. I'm happy every day. I don't worry about none of this shit because I'm humble and I recognize who who is and why what it is. I don't want to be the man in the front. I don't want to because I'm not that. Everybody got a place. And so for you to say, Shan, well, you the first one from the bridge. You not a nigga that recognizes humble and you're not a humble person yourself. That's all I'm saying. It's your man Shizzle. One time for your mind, two time for your soul. No animosity, no none of that shit. It is what it is, motherfucker, and you gotta live with it. All I'm saying is fuck you with emphasis.